Today I'm going to talk about divisibility. How do you tell if a number is divisible by 9? For example, if I say to you, is the following number divisible by 9? 2, 7, 4, 6, 5. Is this divisible by 9? So one thing you could do is, of course, you could type in to your calculator this divided by 9. You could try performing a division without using a calculator to see if the number you get out is a whole number. But there's this little trick which you might have seen, you've probably seen, that says all you have to do is add up the digits of this number and see if that number is divisible by 9. So if we add these numbers up, we get 9, 13, 19, 24. That number is not divisible by 9. So the whole thing isn't divisible by 9. So 2 plus 7 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 equals, I can't remember what I said now, I'll have to do it again. 9, 13, 19, 24. So the answer is no. But if I wrote down the number 2, 7, 4, 6, 5, 3, then the answer is going to be 2 plus 7 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3 equals 27. 27 is divisible by 9, so we can conclude that this number is divisible by 9. Is divisible by 9. So this, this is a method that works perfectly. All you have to do to tell if a number is divisible by 9 is add up its individual digits, see if that sum is divisible by 9. Of course, if you had a really long number, you might end up with a really long number here, in which case you could do it again and add up the digits of this to see if this one is divisible by 9, and that will always tell you if something is divisible by 9. The same works for 3. But why is this true? Perhaps you've known this for a long time, but have you ever understood why it's true? Let's see if we can prove why this method works. So if we look at this number, let's try taking this number here. What does it mean that these are the digits and this is an actual number? Well, actually, to say that, let's get rid of this one. The relationship between these digits and that actual number is that we've got 2 times 10,000 plus 7 times 1,000 plus 4 times 100 plus 6 times 10 plus 5. So in general, if we wrote down a five-digit number as A, B, C, D, E, where these are the five digits, we'd be really saying that that was A times 10,000, which we now might as well write as 10,000A, plus 1000 B plus 100 C plus 10 D plus E. So how do we know if this number is divisible by 9? Well look, we know that 9999A is divisible by 9, and we know that 999B is divisible by 9, and so on. So this is the same as, if we split this up, we get 9999A plus A, and then here we get 999B plus B, right, because this together gives me 1000A, this together, I mean this together gives me 10,000A, this together gives me 1000B, so for our 100C we have 99C plus C, here we have 9D plus D, and then at the end here we just get an E. Okay. So this whole thing as a sum is equal to the number that we first started with. This is the one we want to check. right? Now if we look at this, we've now split this into two. If you look at the top line, this top line is definitely divisible by 9, because it's just this is clearly divisible by 9, and so is this, and so is that, and so is that. So all we're left with is the bottom line, right? 
So if the bottom line is divisible by 9, then the whole thing will have to be divisible by 9, because it will be a sum of something divisible by 9 and something else divisible by 9. But also, if the bottom line is not divisible by 9, then the, this thing over here can't possibly be divisible by 9. So let's see if we can uh, make that precise. So first of all, let's see, 1. So we need to show two things, right? We want to show first of all that if this sum a plus b plus c plus d plus e, if that is divisible by 9, then this one is. And we also want to show the converse which says that if this is divisible by 9, then that is divisible by 9. So first of all, if a plus b plus c plus d plus e is divisible by 9, then a, b, c, d, e equals n plus m, right? Where this top part, I'm calling this top part n, and this bottom part is m, where n is divisible by 9, and m is divisible by 9. And if you add two things that are both divisible by 9, then the answer must be divisible by 9. Of course, you might wonder why that step is true. And what we're going to do next is we're going to make precise the notion of divisibility so that we can really show that that is true. Now let's try and do the other way around. Secondly, suppose that this a plus b plus c plus d is divisible by 9. Then we've got to show that this m here is divisible by 9. So suppose if a, b, c, d, e is divisible by 9, then what's this bottom part? m equals a, b, c, d, e minus n, right? Where this is divisible by 9 and so is n. And if you take the difference between two things that are divisible by 9, that's definitely going to be divisible by 9. Where this is divisible by 9, and also this is divisible by 9. So, uh, so that means that this implies that M is oops, divisible by 9. So what have we done? We've shown that if the whole number is divisible by 9, then the sum of the digits must be divisible by 9. And also that if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, then the original number must be divisible by 9. So we've shown that this is a precise test for checking whether something is divisible by 9 or not. So what you can do now is see if you can do this argument for divisibility by 3, and also see what happens if you try and do divisibility by 11. <laughs>